My grandma's fried potatoes are to die for and they're a really simple dish packed with flavour. Now I have got my wonderful sustainable cookware here and the body is made out of 100% recycled aluminium and I've got two pans so that I can do some rotis later and potatoes in here. Let's get started. So I've got my cookware already warm and I can see that it's ready to go because the thermo signal is a solid red and I'm going to add some olive oil in here and start with the spices. So I like to start with some mustard seeds and they can start to spit so just be a little bit careful and my cumin seeds and you can already start to smell them getting nice and fragrant. And now a really big component of this dish is curry leaves. And these add so much flavour and if you can grow them, you're a legend. You can actually freeze these as well, but these are an integral component to the dish. And I'm just going to give that a slight toss around so they get nice and fragrant. Do be careful because it can spit. But what you're aiming for is for the curry leaves to get a little bit toasted. They start to smell absolutely delicious. So I'm just going to give these a gentle stir and now we're going to add some chilli. Now I like to leave the seeds in because I really quite like the heat but I also cut it nice and chunky because it just looks beautiful in the dish when you serve it on the plate. So you can do it finer if you want to but I'm going to leave it nice and big. So that goes into the pot along with some more flavour, onion and garlic and this has been really finely diced and the garlic and ginger has been microplaned. And now we need to coat all of that onion in those beautiful spices. Now the smells coming out of this pot are amazing and you can see that the curry leaves are starting to get a little bit fried and crispy. That's exactly what you want. Now that I've got those things in there, I can turn the heat up a bit because the spices won't spit and we can move on to the potato. So I've already got some of this potato chopped and what I want to show you is how to cut them because my grandma is pedantic about this. So if you've got a potato with nice skin, I would leave it on, you don't need to remove it. But if you think that it needs to be removed, you can peel it, but I promise you it adds more fibre and I think flavour. So I just cut them into half moons or whatever you want to call these and fairly thin. Now my grandma would probably say thinner, but I am very content with this and I tend to cook them for a bit longer. Very easy so far, very doable. Now let's give this a bit of a toss. Want that onion a little bit brown. And now we can pop these potatoes in. Here we go, now these are quite big potatoes. If you've got smaller ones, you might need more, but I promise you this is gonna be enough to feed the family, especially once we start adding our other elements. And then all you want to do is toss the potato around so it's coated in those cumin seeds, the mustard seeds and the curry leaves. And look at that. Now, what I'm aiming for here is soft potatoes that are crispy on the outside. So I'm going to let them go for about 15 to 20 minutes. I've got some water on hand in case I think it's starting to burn at the bottom, but I'm just going to step away now, pop some roti on because you need to eat this with roti and wrap it all together. So again, I've got a hot pan ready to go. Don't need any oil because these are non-stick cookware. Really easy to clean and I don't need any oil on the bottom. And I'm also going to whip up a really easy raita. Every family's raita is a little bit different, but I like to put lots of veggies in there because my kids will eat it so I know they're getting veggies in their diet. So I've got some grated carrot and the reason I love that in a raita is it adds a little bit of sweetness. So it's quite a nice flavour and I always put grated cucumber. If you want some texture to your raita, you can do diced cucumber, which I tend to do for the kids, they love that. You need a good solid squeeze of lemon juice. Beautiful. And the key ingredient, some cumin. So I've got some cumin powder here, I'm just gonna add a little bit. And then of course, to bring everything together, we need some yogurt and quite a bit of it. So such a nice way to get dairy into your diet as well. So you're trying to get enough dairy in for bone health. And this is a really lovely way to do it. So let's give that a nice stir, ideally keeping it in the bowl. Let's add a little bit more yogurt here just because I put so many veggies in. And I'm just going to give it a nice twist of pepper. And I'm also going to pop some pepper in my potatoes as well. Now because this is my grandma's recipe and I know that she's watching and there's quite a bit of pressure on me, I'm just going to grab a good pinch of salt. And she would say, go hard with the salt. She's a bit like Richo. 
but I've just added enough here and you can see that these potatoes are starting to brown. I'm going to get these waters done and then we can put this together. Do these look the potatoes have gotten really crispy so they're soft on the inside crispy on the outside the spices smell amazing this my friends is done and we can plate it up so I'm going to put a really big serve of potato in here the thing I love about these potatoes is you can do really anything with them so you can put them with rice I often wrap them in roti with some raita or some kachumba, so just some diced cucumber and tomato. You can put lettuce in there. Very versatile. Let's pop that there. Little bit of coriander on top just to finish it off. Beautiful. How good does that plate look? You can do lots of things with potatoes, but here's a different option that you could give a go at home.